Some phenomena in modern urban life contributes to high levels of stress and unhappiness. We are busy each day traveling to many places and are forced to spend more of our time away from home. This creates a separation between humans and pets. Pets spend more time away from their owners without interaction. Humans have always lived with animals as social companions. Pets have been integrated into our families and have even helped in work tasks such as hunting, transportation, and farming. In today's modern life, one of the few things that brings warmness to our hearts and homes are pets. Pets satisfy humans' need to nurture. Virtual pet devices such as Tamagotchi and Aibo aim to provide humans with intelligent social companions traditionally provided by pets. However, studies have shown that although there is a kind of psychological connection, this kind of interaction is not the same as real companionship that grows between human and real pet animals. There is a need to feel the presence of our pets and have real emotional interaction, no matter where we are, whether traveling or at work. We present Poultry Internet, a system for remote human-pet interaction. Poultry are one of the most poorly treated animals in modern society, being mainly used as a food source and living in terrible conditions. Studies have shown that poultry are capable of feeling pleasure. They also have a high level of cognition and feelings. Chickens benefit from touch-based interaction with their owners and lead happier lives. It has been shown that hens that are deprived of human contact are likely to be more anxious and prone to poor egg legging. But in, in Southeast Asia, traditionally people have kept chickens as pets in their backyards. In the uh, traditional Asian villages, there was always chickens around and children would play with them. So we wanted to really recreate that kind of traditional Asian style uh, pet. In today's world, chickens still fill the role of animal companions and our system keeps this possible. Poultry Internet is made up of two subsystems. At the office system, the user is able to feel the presence of the pet and interact with it through a pet doll interface. At the backyard system, the pet wears a special haptic jacket which reproduces the touch from its owner via data received from the internet. We have embedded a touch sensing and wireless receiver circuit inside the pet doll. The touch sensing circuit is built upon the technique of capacitive touch sensing where the area of human touch distorts an electric field and therefore registers a touch. We specially designed a pet jacket for the chicken with embedded vibrating actuators and wireless Bluetooth module. This jacket recreates a convincing human touch for the chicken. Design considerations were incorporated to ensure that the jacket does not restrict the movement of the chicken and is not a significant burden to its movement. The human user interacts with the chicken through a pet doll interface. The interaction is illustrated here with the LED lights on the haptic jacket. The chicken feels the touch and engages the human user. The chicken's response is captured with the camera registration. The human users enjoyed the system, but in order to determine how the chicken liked the system, we asked it. To do this, we conducted a red door, blue door test based on a Duncan principle. We put the chicken in a common corridor where it is free to choose between entering the red door, blue door, or remain at its place. If the chicken enters the blue door, we will remotely touch it through the pet doll interface. On the other hand, if the chicken goes into the red door, we would not do anything to it. The study allowed the chicken to interact and engage in the mediated touch interaction with the owner or opt out of the experience and be left alone. Overwhelmingly, the chicken demonstrated a strong desire to interact with the system. The chicken enjoyed the experience.